What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, my wife wants to show you guys how to do a quick makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys are enjoying your Veterans Day weekend if you have the day off. Um, thank you all for all the veterans that fought for our country and I hope you guys are all having a good day too. And I hope you have a laugh. If you like this video, let me know what you think in the comments. And here we go. Hey guys, welcome to Moves Like Jagger 369. Um, we're just here doing a makeup tutorial. I know you guys haven't seen me very much. I'm usually at work, but I'm here doing a video for Jagger just to help him out a little bit. So let's get started. Um, let's grab the lip gloss. Um, no, I think first we're going to do the base. So this is Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I really like it. Although, you know, we accidentally got a darker color this time, but that's okay. We'll just spread it around a little bit. So spread it on the cheeks and on the nose. And you want to do your T-zone. So rub that around a little bit. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it on the neck. On the cheeks. Oh, not. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Up a little bit on the cheekbone. Oh, the, the lip, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to get the right spot. <laughs> okay, and maybe when you try it, you might want to use a little less, but I like to use a little more to make a more dramatic effect. Okay, I think we'll move on now. <laughs> um, rub that in your hands a little bit. It's kind of like lotion. You can <laughs> spread it around. <laughs> All right, next we are going to use the lip gloss. I chose, that's actually mascara, but it looks like lip gloss. Um, yeah, this pink lip gloss is really shiny. Goes right on the lips. I kind of open my mouth like this first. And you can hit it. Oh, I can hit it right on the lip. And the top lip. And then I just kind of smack my lips together. Oh, well, not really with the brush, but I just smack my own lips. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that away. All good. Check your teeth. Okay, so next we are gonna do the eyeshadow. Um, it's on, so, um, Speaking of eyeshadow, some people like to use really bright colors. Um, I do usually, but only if I'm going out to like party or something, then I use really bright colors. But if I'm just going to work or something, I use a natural shade. Let's see what shades we have today. This is called the Color Workshop Hue Palette. As you can see, it's got your pinks, purples, blues, yellows, browns. So it's any shade for any time of the year. They have sparkly ones or plain ones. You have your two little brushes. This is your sponge brush. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get out. Um, so we're gonna do more of a sparkly brown just in the crease of your eyelid. Yeah. And then we're going to do a lighter shade just above the crease of your eyelid. Yeah, that's perfect. I do so good. Okay, I'm um, sorry, just had to brag a little bit. All right, then we're going to do a light turquoise blue because I feel like popping it out. <laughs> so we do that on the base of our lid. Of our lid. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what's my cheek and what's my lid. You know, they look alike. <laughs> Okay, I'm having a little trouble today. I just had a baby, so 
like five months ago. It really kills your brain sometimes. Okay, we're deciding on green instead because green looks better for fall and Christmas, you know? Yeah, perfect. Get all that base. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other eye. Let's try out our bristle brush. It's kind of hard to get out too. Oh, there we go. Okay, so on the other eye, I think we're gonna do a pink. We're gonna do that one on the base of our eyelid. Okay, so that looks perfect. So next, we're gonna do a more purple gray just in the crease. Just kind of blend that in in the crease of our eye. Of our eye. <laughs> there we go. Just in the crease of our eye. Okay. <laughs> so, now we're gonna put that one down. Close our little cube palette. And now we're on to the last step because I forgot to get uh, eyeliner. Some people like eyeliner. I don't really because I end up just looking like a raccoon, we shall say. So let's just do some mascara. I really like the CoverGirl. Um, some people like other brands, but I like the CoverGirl because it's really good. This one is not waterproof. Waterproof will stay in your eyes forever. It sucks. Okay, but it's good for swimming because it really is waterproof. All right, let's get started. So we're going to brush the bottom lash. Yeah, and just kind of, I'm gonna close my eyes and we'll do the top lash. Yeah, just kind of get that eyelid too. It makes for the effect of eyeliner, but Let's do the other eye. Do that bottom lash. And do that top lash. And then, if you guys have any excess um, eyeliner in your eyes, oh, not eyeliner, uh, mascara. If you have any ex, oops. If you have any excess mascara in your eyes. You can just use one of these Nutri one of these Neutrogena um, makeup wipes really help to get that excess off, especially if you accidentally poked yourself in the eye. Now we're just gonna wipe that bottom a little bit. This this eye. Oh, perfect. All right, so now we're ready for a night out on the town. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. And thumbs up down below. And, you know, just do whatever you need to do to get us up there in the YouTube, you know. Um, <laughs> so... Hope to do another video with you again. Thanks, guys. Bye.